Hello and welcome to this tutorial on VLAN configuration. Before a switch can send packets to a device, a connected device in a particular VLAN, a few requirements must be met on the switch. So let's talk about those requirements first. They're pretty simple really. Two things have to be met. First, the VLAN must exist. So you have to create a VLAN on a particular switch. And then at least one port on the switch has to be assigned to that VLAN. So those are two requirements. If you don't have those, nothing's going to happen. Now by default, VLAN 1 is configured on every switch and every port is by default assigned to VLAN 1. So in a way, this is done for us already. It's a plug and play operation. However, if you want multiple VLANs, you need to know how to create more VLANs and assign ports to them. So there are two types of ports. First is an access port. And really by definition, that is a single VLAN and a device is connected to it and that port belongs to a single VLAN and a single VLAN only. And that's going to be our focus in this tutorial and the ICND1 material only covers access ports. There's another type of port called a trunk port and trunk ports by definition carry multiple VLANs. So that material is covered in ICND2. We won't get to it here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually see how to create our VLAN and then take a look at what we need to do in order to assign ports to a VLAN. And then finally, throughout this process, we're going to take a look at some verification commands so that we know what we've done and how the switch is behaving. Okay, so let's get started. Before we begin with the actual configurations, let's go ahead and take a look at this diagram and map out what we want to do. So let's create a VLAN and we're going to put two PCs into that VLAN. We're going to number that VLAN and it will be VLAN 4. Okay? The two ports we're going to configure, this one here is FA02 and this one here will be FA03. All right, pretty simple. And we're actually going to add a name to that too. So the name of this VLAN, let's call it sales, because those are two sales guys. This PC here is going to remain in the default VLAN, which is VLAN 1. And this particular port is FA014. So we'll leave that in the default so that we can compare it compare and contrast not only the port configurations but the two different VLANs. Okay, before we actually start making configuration changes, let's take a look at a command that gives us an idea of what's already on the switch. So that command is show VLAN brief. And that will list every VLAN configured on the switch and it'll also tell us which ports are assigned to that VLAN. So you can see we have VLAN 1, the default VLAN, which carries that name. And as we mentioned, every port is assigned to that VLAN when the switch comes to you pre-configured. There are a few other VLANs on there, 1002 through 1005. They're sometimes called the undeletable VLANs. It's a bit out of the scope of this tutorial to address them, so for now, let's just put them on the back burner. Before we can assign ports FA02 and 3 to our new VLAN, VLAN 4, we actually have to create VLAN 4. So let's go ahead and jump into configuration mode and get started on that. The command we want to use is pretty straightforward. It's just the VLAN command. And there are a few parameters available to us. Some of those are outside of the scope of this tutorial. The one we're interested in is the top one, where we choose a number, a unique number for this particular VLAN. So we could tell by the show VLAN brief command that we have a lot of available numbers to us. And in our plan, we decided on VLAN number four. And so there we go. We enter that command and VLAN four has been created. Now, we talked about adding a name for this VLAN. And before we actually configure one, I just want to show you the default behavior. If we jump out of configuration mode and take a look at the show VLAN brief command again, you can now see VLAN four has been created. And the name by default assigned to VLAN four is this, VLAN 0004. You'll get that with any VLAN you create if you do not specify a specific name. So you don't have to create a name, but it's nice to do it. It gives you an idea of what the, the VLAN is used for or what devices are in that VLAN. So let's go ahead and jump back into VLAN 4 configuration mode. 
and let's create a name. The command is name, pretty straightforward, and we said we would use sales as the name. So we do that, and let's go ahead now and take a look at our show VLAN brief, and we can see VLAN 4 now has the proper name of sales attached to it. But we don't have any ports in there yet, so that's our next step, assigning ports to VLAN 4. So we wanted ports 2 and 3, and we're going to use, actually, the range command to do both at the same time. So the first thing we want to do is assign both of these ports to VLAN 4. And the command we want to use is switch port, access, VLAN, and then we need to enter a number. We know the number is 4, and that's it. Both ports are now assigned to VLAN 4. There's one more thing we want to do, and we talked about the two types of switch ports when it comes to VLANs. There's the access port, which by definition allows only a single VLAN on it. And then there are trunk ports, which by definition allow multiple VLANs over it. We're concerned only with access ports at this time, so let's make both of these ports access ports. The command that will do that for us is switch port mode access, like that. And so if we get out of configuration mode now and take again, take a look again at show VLAN brief, we now see that ports 2 and 3 are assigned to VLAN 4. And as we said, VLAN 1 was left alone and port 14 is still assigned to VLAN 1. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at our running configuration to see what it looks like there. Here we see VLAN 4, and under it, in the VLAN sub-configuration mode, we see the name Sales. Well, that's good. That's what we wanted. And then let's take a look at VLAN 3. We see our two commands we entered, Switch Port Access VLAN 4 and Switch Port Mode Access. And that's it. We have successfully created VLAN 4 and assigned two interfaces to that VLAN. So to summarize what we covered, we know there are two types of ports when it comes to VLANs. The access port, which carries only a single VLAN, and a trunk port, which carries multiple VLANs. We know we can take a look at all the configured VLANs and see which ports are assigned to a particular VLAN by using the command show VLAN brief. When we're ready to create a VLAN, we use the global configuration command VLAN in order to do that. In VLAN submode, we use the name command in order to assign a name to our VLAN we just created. Finally, when we want to assign a port to a VLAN, we use the switch port access VLAN command. Of course, if we want to make the port an access port, we would use the switch port mode access command. And that's it. That is how to create VLANs. Thanks for watching.